And good afternoon. Welcome to Lay Fun Rehearse. I'm Matt Del Vecchio, specializing in elder care planning, downsizing in the senior living industry. Thank you for tuning in. Coming up on the first half of the show, so many good causes out there during the holiday seasons, and there were some desperate calls for help from some charitable organizations over the last couple of weeks, and I'm going to catch up with two of them, Wasso Montreal and Elves for Seniors Montreal, where thousands of people are literally relying on them to come through for them. And I'm bringing back a popular segment called Rapid Fire Legal q and I've got Jamie Benezri, founder and president of Legal Logic, uh, back in with me. And this is always a fun, quick-paced entertainment Q&A session where uh, we discuss legal issues ranging from how to fight a ticket or how to break a lease if you're not happy with that landlord so tune in for that and after the 4:30 news i'm going to be talking about the latest in wearable and non-wearable medical alert systems jeremy altman president and ceo of equinox life care will be joining me in studio to discuss some really exciting trends in medical alert systems all right during the last couple of weeks there were many calls to the public to support various charitable organizations it seemed that this season was tougher on people to give and donate and let's face it it's not easy out there with high interest rates the sputtering economy well this year was particularly hard on food banks and I'd like to bring in Maggie Borowick Maggie is the director of philanthropy at Moisson Montréal the largest food bank in Canada distributing foodstuffs Maggie welcome to Life Unrehearsed Thank you, Matt, for having me. Maggie, really, thank you for joining me. I know it's been extremely busy at Moisson Montréal. And for our listeners, let's hear a little bit more about uh, Moisson Montréal. Typically, how many requests, if you could ballpark it, how many requests would you get for food aid on a monthly basis, let's say? So Moisson Montréal is serving 300 agencies on the island of Montreal, and they're telling us that they're fulfilling over 907,000 requests per month for food assistance. That's, I'm astonished with that number. You just said over 900 th- 900,000 food requests on a monthly basis. Um, you know, Moisson Montréal does so many good things for many organizations. Just how many community organizations do you serve in Montreal, Maggie? So right now it's around 300, and those agencies are all across the island. These are shelters for people escaping domestic violence. These are organizations that are local food pantries. There are organizations with doing Meals on Wheels. There's a wide variety of agencies. What they have in common is that their clientele is suffering from food insecurity and they need food to be able to help them. So we provide them with the food free of charge. That's our mission. Talking with Maggie Borowick, Director of Philanthropy at Moisson Montréal. And uh, Maggie, from what I've heard, the food banks have been particularly uh, hit hard this year. How has it been at Moisson Montréal this holiday season? Well, the word crisis is the word on everyone's lips, Uh, whether it's our agencies, whether it's us or other food banks that we're talking to. It's just unprecedented, the the skyrocketing demand. So many people are turning to food banks for the first time. This year, we're seeing more than ever people who have a job whose primary source of income is employment turning to food banks. And also, we're seeing a lot of two-parent families turning to food banks Inflation has been a huge factor in driving people to food banks because they just can't make ends meet anymore on the income that they get. Wow, just incredible. And, uh, you know, Maggie, as we wrap it up here, it's December 17th. If people still want to contribute, I, I would imagine you're still accepting donations and it doesn't stop. You go year round. And my daughter was a proud volunteer there for a couple of years. If people want to contribute, how and what should they do? Yes, you're absolutely right. It is year-round, and thank you to your daughter. Volunteers are very important. This time of year, though, we have plenty of volunteers, thank goodness. It's really food donations and cash donations. And for food donations, right until the end of the year, nearly every grocery store in Montreal is running a food drive, so you can drop off a non-perishable item right next to the cash at most major grocery stores all around the island. And there are food drives happening in the rest of Quebec for other food banks. So there's no wrong way to help, but also cash donations uh, on our website. For every dollar we receive, we're able to distribute $15 worth of food. So every contribution makes a huge difference. 
Absolutely. Well, Maggie, I want to thank you for taking a little time here on a Sunday. Really appreciate all the work that's being done at Moisson Montreal. And on behalf of many Montrealers, we thank you. Thank you, Matt. All right, that's Maggie Borowick, Director of Philanthropy at Moisson Montréal, and talking about a, another, uh, just uh, someone who is very uh, special and dear to me. Uh, I want to bring in Alana Edwards. Uh, Alana is the driving force behind Elves for Seniors Montreal. This is an initiative that provides personalized gifts to thousands of people living in seniors' residences. Alana, welcome back to Life on Rehearsed. Thanks for having me back, Matt. Uh, I know, Alana, that you are, uh, you've are you been going so hard and you literally drove yourself sick <laughs> and you are slowly <laughs> recovering here. Thank you for taking a little time. Just a quick little recap for our listeners, Alana. How many seniors requested a gift this year through Elves for Seniors Montreal? We had 39 residents with a total of just under 3,500 seniors. So this is... 3,500 seniors residents, each of them requesting a gift. You are personalizing their gifts. They've put in their request. And it is going to how many seniors residences, did you say? 39. 39. In, in and across Montreal and surrounding areas. And so the way it works is you can get a tag that's on a tree at different locations. You can get a tag virtually as well for these uh, uh, you know, 35, 3,600 gifts you're saying. The, the deadline was when, by the way? It was December 3rd, um, so we're now past our deadline, and actually we delivered almost all the residences their gifts. That is we, un- were, uh, you know, we I- were quite worried a few weeks ago. Because- well, this is what I wanted to talk about, Alana, because we had you on here on Life on Rehearse about yes. a month ago, and it was the beginning stages, and you didn't really have, you know, were you going to be a little short or so on? And then it started to kick in that, wait a minute, we're approaching our December 3rd deadline. You went on a mass media blitz, Christine Long on CTV News, on CJD as well, and other media organizations, and you did a fantastic job of getting the word out. So is it fair to say, did every one of those seniors get a gift? Every single one of them will be opening a gift this holiday season. Our community came through and they blew me away with the generosity that they got, whether it was giving a gift or financially This community that we have is just phenomenal. Talking with Alana Edwards, the driving force behind Elves for Seniors Montreal. So, Alana, I mean, you've posted stuff on social media. You're literally putting gifts in cars and and cue boxes and delivering all throughout Montreal. I'd love to know, uh, you know, first of all, when were the deliveries made and have you stopped the deliveries or do you still have a few more to do? So our big push for the deliveries was on Friday um, we, I actually rented a cute truck this year because we just had so many. We wanted to get them all done as fast as possible so that their parties could have a gift open. And so um, we have one left, and it's only because they just added two new seniors to their residence. So we wanted to make sure that they also had a gift. So they will be going out probably tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, it was a huge blitz this past week. Yeah, it just uh, – and I might add, Alana, you and your wonderful – Elves, you call them, the volunteers. Yeah. You are wrapping every single one of these gifts, aren't you? Every single gift is wrapped. And the way I see it is that when you're a child and you're experiencing Christmas, one of the best things about Christmas, besides the gift itself, is the the fun time you have opening them. Mm -hmm. So I've seen seniors, some of them are like children, and they just rip through the paper to get to the gift. And then other ones are so meticulous when they open it, where they they slowly peel the tape and they they slowly open it, almost like in Willy Wonka, where he's <laughs> opening that chocolate bar so slowly. That's what some of them do, and then they fold it back up after they've opened it, and they put it in their pocket or their purses or their little baskets, and they treasure that wrapping paper too. So I feel that having each gift individually wrapped just makes it more personalized for that individual opening it and brings them back to the the heart and the joy that they've experienced throughout Christmas throughout the years. And you are bringing them that experience back. And that means so much. You know, let's face it, it it can be very lonely for some people, particularly in seniors' residences. And that generation, like you say, it doesn't surprise me. They're even saving the the wrapping paper. Everything makes a difference. And the gifts that were asked, Alana, just give us, our listeners, an idea. You know, they're not asking for extravagant gifts, aren't they? They're simple gifts. And if anyone has read our tags, you're going to see they, a lot of the requests are for chocolates or blankets. We have socks, um, 
toiletries, like the simplest gifts. I think the most expensive gift that I saw in there was maybe a clock radio. Um, you know, some of them even just asked for like a subscription to the Gazette on Saturdays. It's really not something like our kids are asking for, where they're asking for ear pods or whatever. It's really simple, modest things that they ask for. That's amazing. Alana, we have to wrap it up. You are just amazing, and congratulations on what you've done. Uh, you're Thank already you. planning for next year, and just Always. really fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks. Happy holidays, Matt. You too. That's Alana Edwards, the driving force behind Elves for Seniors Montreal, giving out thousands of gifts to seniors at seniors' residences. Life Unrehearsed, brought to you by Leanna's Senior Transition Support, helping you navigate home care and senior residences.